In this video, I will show you the construction and the logical operation of PMOS NAND gate. PMOS NAND gate that means I will use P-type enhancement MOSFET to construct the logic gate as this will be a NAND gate. Therefore, if at least one of the inputs is at logic 0, our output will be at logic 1. Now see. The construction and logical operation of PMOS NAND gate is quite similar to the structure and logical operation of NMOS NAND gate except we will use P-type enhancement MOSFET to construct the logic circuit and we will use negative logic. When I was talking about NMOS NAND gate, to specify logic 0, I have applied 0 volt and to specify logic 1, I have applied 5 volt. But PMOS NAND gate will use negative logic. To specify logic 0, we will use 0 volt. That means that terminal will be directly grounded. And to specify logic 1, we will apply minus 5 volt. See here, if I have to apply logical 1 at the input A terminal, I will take a voltage source or battery something like that and I will connect the negative terminal at the A terminal and positive terminal at the ground terminal and that will give us negative or minus 5 volt or logic 1 at that terminal or I can use a negative pulse like this whose 0 volt will indicate logic 0 and minus 5 volt will indicate logic 1 okay see this is the structure of PMOS NAND gate. Here you will see we will have total three transistors Q1, Q2, and Q3. All of them are P type enhancement MOSFET. We will indicate the P type MOSFETs by indicating the arrow in the inward or inner direction. Okay. Now see the transistor Q1 is known as loading MOSFET. And you will see transistor Q1 will always be in on state loading MOSFET that means its channel will provide a resistance of around 100 kilo ohm when it will be in on state we will fabricate the transistor q1 such that its on state resistance is around 100 kilo ohm the transistor q2 and q3 will be known as switching MOSFET When I will apply logic 0 at the input terminals, they will be in off state or if I apply logic 1 or negative 5 voltage, they will be in on state. Now, why I have to apply minus 5 volt to indicate logic 1? See, the threshold voltage of a p-type MOSFET is a negative quantity. And to turn on the p-type MOSFET, I have to apply a voltage that is more negative than the negative threshold voltage. Therefore, Usually, the negative threshold voltage of a p-type MOSFET is around minus 1 volt. To turn on the transistor, I will apply minus 5 volt. Therefore, it will be our logic 1. See here, to indicate logic 0, we are applying 0 volt. And to indicate logic 1, we are applying minus 5 volt. So, I can say that PMOS logic will use negative logic because here, the logic 0 voltage is greater than the logic 1 voltage. Now look here, we are applying minus 5 volt at this terminal. That means the negative terminal of 5 volt source is connected here and the positive terminal is connected here. Now see, the gate terminal of the transistor Q1 is connected at this terminal. So the transistor Q1 will always be in on state. And we fabricate the transistor Q1 such that its channel resistance is always 100 kilo ohm when it is in on state. So I can replace the transistor Q1 with a resistance of 100 kilo ohm. Now see, Q2 and Q3 are switching MOSFET. That means I can use them as switch. And during the on state of the switch, MOSFET shows a resistance of 1 kilo ohm and during off state channel resistance is around 10 to the power 12 ohm so i can replace this pmos network with a 
resistive network like this and I can say they are equivalent network depending on the condition of the MOSFET okay here I will talk about first case A and B when they will be at logic 0 A is at logic 0 that means I will apply 0 volt that means this terminal is connected to ground B is at logic 0 that means I will connect this terminal to ground terminal now see Q2 is in off state because of logic 0 so the off state resistance will be 10 to the power 12 ohm okay now see when the transistor q2 and q3 will be in off state their source and drain terminals will act like open switch or open circuit so i can disconnect the source and drain terminals of q2 and q3 from the network see i have disconnected the source and drain terminals that means i can disconnect the two ends of the r2 and r3 from the network now see what will be our output voltage vo here this is the positive terminal of VDD and this is the negative terminal so our current should flow from this ground towards this terminal so ID should be in this direction but you will see there will be no close path from this terminal to this terminal so in the circuit ID will be equal to 0 as ID will be equal to 0 ID R1 voltage across this resistor will be equal to 0 that means from this terminal to this terminal voltage will be 0 so here I will get a voltage VO equal to minus 5 volt between this terminal to ground terminal therefore it will be logic 1 in case of PMOS NAND gate so for 0 0 I will get logic 1 now consider the second case when A will be at logic 0 that means this terminal is directly grounded B will be at logic 1 that means I will apply minus 5 volt at B terminal so our transistor Q3 will be in on state and the transistor Q2 will be in off state because it is in logic 0 so off state resistance or the channel resistance will be 10 to the power 12 ohm and this channel resistance will be around 1 kilo ohm as the transistor Q2 is in off state its source and drain terminals will act like open switch so I can disconnect the two ends of R2 from the given network see as this portion of the circuit is open circuit therefore there will be no current flow between this terminal to this terminal again our current id will be equal to zero id will be equal to zero id r1 will be equal to zero volt there is no voltage between this terminal to this terminal so this minus 5 volt will be appeared between this terminal to ground terminal for 0 1 our transistor is at logic 1 now consider the third case 1 0 that means I will apply minus 5 volt between this terminal to this terminal and B is at logic 0 that means this will be grounded so the transistor Q3 will be in off state and Q2 will be in on state on state resistance R2 will be 1 kilo ohm r3 will be equal to 10 to the power 12 as the transistor q3 is in off state its source and drain terminals will get disconnected because they will act like an open circuit so i can disconnect the two ends of r3 from this network therefore you will see there will be no close path from this terminal to this terminal so in the circuit id will be equal to zero as id will be equal to zero id r1 will be equal to zero therefore there will be no voltage drop between this terminal to this terminal so this minus 5 volt will be appeared between this terminal to ground terminal that means logic one now consider the last case one one that means minus 5 volt will be applied between this terminal to ground and this terminal to ground okay q2 and q3 both of them will be in on state therefore the channel resistance will be 1 kilo ohm 1 kilo ohm here you will see we will apply minus 5 volt between this terminal to this terminal and we are calculating output voltage between this terminal to this terminal we can easily calculate that using voltage divider rule 
if I apply voltage divider rule, our output voltage will be equal to 2 kilo divided by 100 plus 2 kilo into minus 5. This should be around minus 0 0.098 volt, which will indicate a voltage clearly near to 0 volt. So, our output will be at logic 0. So, this will be our PMOS NAND gate. For 0, 0, output will be 0. Okay, that's it. Thank you.